You want to see a tiny, tiny potato? Yeah. Whoa. Let me see. Oh. Look, these are the biggest. That is really tiny. Those are really good. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the best Look year. Yeah, I think the, these were the prettiest potatoes we've ever grown. Look. Look at all this. Mommy. Like the vines are really pretty. Look. There's a sunflower. Look at this. Say look. Look at this, mommy. I know you're doing great. There's a bushel. Is this so much fun? We're gonna plant something here, and we're plowing it up for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I don't think we need to plow it. Hey y'all, I thought I would do a quick update on what's been going on around here. Sorry, it's taken me a while. Uh, but I know you guys can understand we make our full-time income from our farm. And things have been crazy nuts busy around here. So between helping customers all day that come to our farm store and um, all the other things. I mean, that's the majority of it. But all the other things we've got going on around here, just running a farm. Um, it takes a lot of our time. So thank you for your patience. Uh, I wanted to give a quick update on my health because several of you have reached out to me and asked me how things are going. So, um, let me first of all say, <laughs> I had to stop reading the comments on the last video because, um, <clears throat> just kidding. um, how should I say this? I figured that I would get a lot of unwanted advice. That's kind of a given when you do YouTube. Um, especially when you start talking about your health and dieting and things like that. That seems to really trigger people. And um, so I got a lot of some of it was good, most of it was not, um, advice, or I don't know if I'd call it advice, it was more of like, like, did you even watch the video, I think, I think they just saw a carnivore diet in the, in the, um, title of the video, and then they didn't even watch the video, and just gave me a bunch of, blah, from, um, you know, about carnivore, either pro or con, so, um, most people were pro carnivore, but they were like super, this is what I'm finding. Um, and I'm just going to lay it all out there. <laughs> I'm finding that there is very little middle ground out there as far as these health concerns, fad diet kind of things go. Um, I am personally very comfortable with um, seeing my holistic doctor who I trust uh, and talking with him about all things nutrition and, um, you know, supplements and all of the things. And um, you, I mean, I'm just such an advocate for you finding what works for you. You know, we are all such individuals that I don't believe at all that we are one size fits all when it comes to dieting, um, when it comes to our health issues. Um, yeah, like something may work for you, it may not work for me. Something may work for me, it may not work for you. And that's just the way it is. So um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, thank you for the people that who, who genuinely want to help. Um, I appreciate those, but like, I just can't get behind the, you know, all, all food is evil <laughs> um, unless it's what I do, you know, or, you know, all diets are evil unless it's the diet I'm on. And um, that is a lot of what I saw when I posted the last video. So that being said, um, let's see, I've had several people ask me, so I just want to kind of talk to you like I'm talking to one of my friends who's asked me um, about my diet and how it's going. So I am not doing carnivore strictly at this moment. Um, I talked to my doctor and he is, um, he's very comfortable with me adding in vegetables. Um, he wants to caution me about carbs and about sugar. And I completely think that's warranted. Like I, I've done enough research on my own to know how sugar especially wreaks havoc on a body. And, um, and that carbs are really not my friend. So I'm trying to be careful. I'm not being like 
so super strict because here's what happens with me when I am so super strict about my diet if something happens if I have a piece of brownie or whatever it is and I've been so super strict up until that point then when it happens it's like well all is lost you know and that's just my personality that's just the way I do things I am very much a a one extreme or another kind of person so um so I like to take the approach of grace and I like to make progress and not worry about perf perfection um I am doing well I think I'm still losing some weight I am um feeling better um anytime I know personally with me anytime I am having um any kind of carbs really I mean let me put it this way anytime I'm eating bread of some sort even if it's homemade bread or I'm having sugar of some sort um it does not sit well with me um I feel bloated I feel and this has been the really eye-opening thing about this whole thing is my mental state is directly affected by what I'm eating directly and I did not anticipate finding that out on this health journey um so when I was on carnivore as I think I said in the last video I was doing really really well mentally I was doing really well emotionally but let me tell you off of carnivore or at least off of keto <laughs> which is pretty much what I'm doing right now um negative thoughts negative thought patterns that just continue day after day um lots of hormonal issues up and down um, emotionally all of those things tend to be more prevalent so that being said um, I'm doing my best to make progress and to be consistent with my diet um, with grace so um, yeah so we're doing we're doing well um, I'm feeling pretty good I'm just having to be more mindful about what I'm consuming and that's a good thing y'all like I'm not I don't want to do this video and be like I am on this horrible diet that I hate like I feel really good when I'm eating well and that's worth it to me um to be very present and um emotionally and mentally sound for my family is like so worth it so um so that's where we're at in other news we um have started putting up a second high tunnel it is a grant high tunnel so adam applied for a grant um for one probably two maybe even three years ago it's been a while and all of those grants were on hold for the longest time and then we just got the approval a few months ago so we are really excited to be able to um be putting that up at this point and um then we dug potatoes the other day and that was really fun we um got you know got in the dirt got our feet in the dirt got to um that's like the most fun thing that we harvest if you have not harvested potatoes you're missing out um it was just it was just a lot of fun it's like treasure hunting so the kids and i had a lot of fun doing that adam adam and i did it for a while the other day and then the kids joined us so um yeah that is about all for today's update i hope that you guys are doing well um, please leave us a comment and let me know how you're doing um, i try to read them unless i get a bunch of negative ones and then i just kind of like all right i'm done for the day <laughs> so I hope you guys can understand that but um, the nice comments that we get and the encouraging comments that we get um, make it worth it for sure so I hope you guys have a good day and I'll catch you next time bye